Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, so I definitely have a dilemma to deal with here. So let's see here. I am on the second run of this game, and on this run I've had a couple of objectives. One of them is to bring Bryce all the way to the end of the game, including make sure he doesn't die. And another goal was to try to get Lorem's good ending. To get Lorem's good ending, I've been needing to find the parts to this technological orb thing, and the remaining piece is at the police archives. Unfortunately, while I visited the police archives, I was detoured by an elderly dragon named Katsuharu. And, um, now I'm at a point where that ate up my time, so I only have time to go to one more location. And that's an issue, because during this investigation, I wanted to visit the production facility. Because I did not visit the production facility during my first run. More importantly, visiting the production facility now would mean interviewing Anna's assistant. As Anna was murdered on this run. So this would give me an opportunity to speak with Anna's assistant on this run. Also, Katsuharu gave me his phone number, which means on the next hangout day, that means I'll likely want to hang out with Katsuharu. Which is also an issue because I can only visit two people, and now I have three people that I will want to visit on the next day. So it's like, uh, th there's all sorts of things going on right now, and I can't do them all. So, what do I want to do? Um. Well, I know how to get Lorem's good ending. I know how to ensure that I would be interviewing Anna's assistant. I don't know what I did in order to trigger my meetup with Katsuharu. So I'm definitely going to focus on that so that I'm certain to be able to meet up with him again. With that in mind, we'll save Lorem for the next run, perhaps. Because I am going to do more runs after this anyway. So let's just go ahead and visit the production facility. And Lorem is here. Okay, sure. I don't have the part to get his good ending, but nice to just hang out with him again. Hey, Erica. Lauren, what are you doing here? I'm just fetching some equipment for my roommate. He's in the middle of an experiment and really needs this stuff. He sounded very emotional, which is very unusual for him. Sounds like it's serious. And you're here for important human business, I bet. Sure. By the way, how about I invite you to our place sometime? There's another thing you could help me with. What is it? I'd like to make some pictures of you. Okay. I want to use them as references for the humans in my game. I see. Well, I can't promise anything right now, but I'll keep it in mind. Great, thanks. I should really get going before my roommate blows up the apartment. Sure, take care. You too. I'm kind of wondering about Ipsum. You think we'll have another chance to learn more about him? Anyway, this should be the right place. Oh, it's you again. What do you want? Can I ask you a few questions? What about... Anna's murder? And who are you to go around asking questions like that? 
Hold on a sec. Does Damien have wings? It looks like he's got wings in his sleeve. Anyway, I'm working with the police on this matter. And I'm supposed to believe that? For all I know, you could be with the murderer and are just here to find out if I know something that could implicate you. Well, according to my information, you didn't particularly like the victim. Not only were you the last person to see her alive, but you were also the one who found her. As you may imagine, this warrants some questions. You know what? I don't have to listen to this. I don't know who you think you are, barging into my workplace and barking questions, but if you really are with the police, let them know that I won't say one more word on the matter without a lawyer. Well, that went well. I wondered if Damien was a suspicious person in general, or if the rumors surrounding Reza were affecting his perception of me. Before this, everyone I had talked to during my investigations had been rather cooperative. Phew, it's getting late. I better head to the police station now. Curious if I will be given the opportunity to search the trash can after all. Do I have everything? Alright, let's see what Sebastian will say to this. There you are, Erica. It seems to me you've taken a liking to Bryce's chair. Maybe. I could get used to this. Don't tell Bryce, though. By the way, good job calling the police when you heard Reza. It's too bad he got away again, but maybe a witness will come forward and we'll find out what happened. I'm definitely curious myself, but I'm not sure if I want to risk going out on that night and investigating the noise myself. Now, let's take a look at what you've got for me. Hmm, this isn't much information to go on, but who knows when it could come in handy. I do what I can, and I wasn't able to do much. I know, and your help is greatly appreciated. Believe me, especially since we're so short on staff right now. That will be all for today. I'll contact you if we need anything. Of course. By the way, I found an Ixomen Sphere in the park a while ago and was told to hand it over to you. I was? Oh yes, those things are really expensive. I'm sure the owner will greatly appreciate it if they get it back. I can't remember who this thing belonged to. Was it Lorem or Ipsum? I dug into my pockets only to realize th that the Ixomen Sphere was still resting on the table in my apartment. Oh, looks like I don't have it on me. If it is registered, you only need to turn it on and you should be able to find out who it belongs to. I already tried that, but I think it's out of battery. Maybe we could find you a charging base then. Actually, we had one in our lost and found box. Bryce keeps it somewhere around here. Let me check. He got up and over to one of the tables. He picked up a box from under it and returned to me. There it is. Let's see. He rummaged around the box for a bit. Are you going to find it? Nope, didn't think so. I have to be the one to find it myself. That's strange. It's not here. I remember seeing it when I came in today, so he must have thrown it out earlier. Right before we actually needed it. To be fair, it's been in there for quite a while. No one's going to miss those tail bands that have been in there for a few weeks either. I know this is random, 
But I kind of wish I had a tail to make use of tail bands. But if he was going to throw it out, it might still be in the bin. And the plot thickens. Hello there, Venus Flow! Welcome to my stream! I am currently playing Angels with Scaly Wings. It is a visual novel where you are an ambassador sent into a dragon world. I don't know how many details I want to give here, because there's definitely spoilers and you might want to play it for yourself. And if you do want to play it for yourself, I have a link somewhere. No, I don't. I have it. don't have it on me. Uh, Venus says, well, thanks for the information, but I've already played the game. All right. Well, then I don't really have to say anything. But I'm currently on my second run. My current objective is to try to make sure that Bryce makes it to the end of the game. Anyway, Sebastian cocked his head to the side. We both peered into the trash can that was next to the table, but it was empty. That is also not a surprise. Sorry to disappoint you. This is an emotional roller coaster. If he came in a few hours ago, we might have still had it. Well, it's no big deal. Guess I'll have to hold on to the Exelman Spear for a bit longer. All right, I'll have to get back to work for back to work now. We'll contact you if we need anything else. Sure, take care. You too. Finally, a free day. What should I do? Yep, sure enough, Kasuharu is on the list. Well, no matter what, I'm definitely keeping my priority with Bryce. But I don't know... Whether this is my only chance to meet with Katsuharu. Whereas I'm fairly certain I'll definitely have a chance to hang out with Bryce before the chapter ends. So, let's meet with Katsuharu. Venus Flo is asking if I made my profile picture myself. Nope, I had somebody make it. Uh, do I have a link to the original? Hold on a sec, I need to open some things here and see if I can locate it. Excuse me. Hold on a sec, mute, 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 mute. Please mute, please to be muting. Not there. Uh, I, I, I'd have to take the time to find it. I can do that during my break. I go on a break midway through the stream. Anyway. There you are. I wasn't sure if I was going to find you from the description you gave me. Come to think of it, I am calling these people to meet up with them. I mean, initially I thought I was just going to look for them, but no, I would be calling them. And then they would tell me where to meet them. It always confused me whenever I wound up going to meet them, and I was like, this is where I was told to meet them. And it's like, wait, when did that happen? When I called them, apparently. Anyway... Well, this corner is where I do business. You could have asked anyone, and they would have told you where to find me. I see. Now, what would you like for your ice cream? Well, what do you have to offer? What do you have to offer? As for the main dish, I have ice cream, gelato, gelato... Frozen yogurt, frozen custard, soft serve, sorbet, sandwiches, popsicles, melorine, sherbet, cold taffy, snow cones, and 
Hollow Hollow. Alright. For size, I can offer you waffles, sticks, pretzels, cups, buffalo, uh, wafer cones, cake cones, sugar cones, chocolate coated cones, double cones, or vanilla cones. That's a lot of variety you have there. And I haven't even started on about the toppings. Now you know why I have to keep dragging this big cart everywhere. It is a dragon side cart. Hello there, Bryce. Boy, I'm I'm meeting all sorts of friends on these little excursions. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but we're closed. You don't look closed. But we are. I really want to buy an ice cream, though. Please? It's really hot, and I'll pay you twice as much. Sorry, we are closed. Can you at least tell me when you're going to be open? When I feel like it. Now, off you go. I get the feeling that Katsuharu has a thing against the police. But... Katsuharu waved a claw dismissively. Off you go. Sheesh, whatever. I'll just go and jump into a lake or something. Why did you come here when you're closed? This is just my spot. It has been a for a long time. I'll open for those pesky customers later, but right now I have a guest to entertain. Sure. I see. How long have you been doing this? I've been in this business for over 40 years now. Mm, given by your aged look, I get the impression now that dragons do not live for hundreds of years in this world here. Actually, given your age look, you look a lot older than 40. Oh, wow. You see, I'm this town's only real ice cream vendor. Sure, you could just go into a store and buy any pre-made ice cream nowadays, but it's just not the same. My customers know that. They love my ice cream. Of course, I don't just sell it. I also do ice cream parties and catering. Ice cream parties? Only for very special occasions. The townsfolk must really like your ice cream, then. Oh, yes. Business has been wonderful for decades. Lately, though, everything just seems to be going down. Why is that? Every day, less customers find their way to me. If I don't sell everything, things start to spoil and I have to throw them away. I never had to do that before. If it keeps going like this for much longer, I might have to face the reality of bankruptcy. I was planning to retire in a few years. But I can't. Not like this. Have you considered not sending customers away? It wouldn't be nearly as bad if I hadn't also lost all my savings recently. Oh no! What happened? Well, I happen to be an avid player of a game called Mahjong, and just as it so happens, Sometimes people play it for money, too. You lost all your life savings by gambling? And that's the funny thing about gambling. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you don't. Okay, so he's still got some teeth in his maw. Sometimes you win big, and sometimes you lose all your savings. That's just how it goes. I see. How did you decide to become an ice cream vendor anyway? I have quite a history, human, so I hope you're prepared. 
Well, I am an ambassador, so if you have a story to tell, I'll listen. As you wish. I have very fond memories of my childhood. When I was little, we had a confectioner in town who offered all kinds of specialties, from cookies and sweets to cakes and chocolates. The owner was a kind old dragoness who made everything that was sold in her shop with her own two claws. Her confectionery was always very good, but it was her ice cream that was truly exceptional. Even as a small child, I could always taste the difference, even when my peers didn't care and proclaimed one ice cream was as good as the next. Well, they are definitely wrong about that. As I grew up, I came to a fundamental understanding about people. There are those who are content with the lowest common denominator, and those, like me, who could appreciate the finer details in expertly crafted things. Uh, definitely true about that. Like, when it comes to pizza, I am perfectly fine with frozen pizza. Uh, depending on the brand. I talked with her when I heard of her plans to retire, to see if someone else was to continue running the shop, or if she had taken in an apprentice. But to my utter dismay, I learned that this was not the case. You see, she was the kind of humble humble person who didn't think of herself or her wares as special in any way, so she never felt the need to preserve them. I realized that without my intervention, her art would be lost forever. I begged and pleaded with her not to let this happen, but she insisted that I had vastly overestimated her skill. It was not until I ran out and brought her some of the store-bought pulp they dared to call ice cream that she gave in and agreed with me. As a creator, she of course had never felt the need to buy some for herself when she could just make her own. And after only eating her own wonderful ice cream for all these years, it had just become ordinary for her. She had never realized how exceptional it truly was. Even though she was already at retirement age at the time, she took me in as an apprentice to teach me the fine art of confectionery. I was her student for a few years and learned the basics of many different recipes, but unfortunately, she passed away before I could learn the secrets to her particular blend of ice cream. That's a bummer. For the next couple of years, I traveled from city to city, trying to find her relatives or confectioners of a similar caliber in order to find the last ingredients of her recipe. Going from one disappointment to the next, I finally tracked down a distant nephew who remembered her from his own childhood. Even back then, her ice cream had apparently been very popular in the family. He was very happy to hear that she was able to fulfill her dream of owning her own confectionery. However, after, after he told me that the recipe was the confectioner's own and that she had never divulged it to anyone else, I had to realize that this was a secret she had apparently taken with her to the grave. Nowadays, people tell me that I have surpassed her. What they don't know is that all the different recipes I use, all the varieties I offer, came to be when I tried to recreate her recipe. I never succeeded. Just look at the number of different ice creams I sell. People tell me how impressive that is and how they are all wonderful. They think it makes me better than her, but she only ever sold a single flavor, a single variety. She never needed anything else because that one flavor was perfect. I can only ascribe my own success to what I learned from her. Of course, this corner is not the only place where I sell the ice cream. I also have my spots in the surrounding villages, but even out there, I can slowly see the influence of the cities taking over. 
The trouble is, nowadays, people just don't appreciate the art anymore. They only care that they can eat, and not about what they eat. They are too quick to settle for what they can get from the local supermarkets. Ugly, mass-manufactured pulp. Gah. You know, some of these... Some of those companies have approached me before. They wanted to buy my recipes, but I won't let them ruin what I have by making it cheap and easy to, produ to produce like, they, like the stuff they sell. My ice cream is only what it is because I still make it myself with my own two hands. This is the way it has been and how it's always going to be. You mentioned that you are planning to retire in a few years. What's going to happen then? Do you have any students who will take over the business afterwards? The dragon gave a big sigh. I wish. I've had a few students who wanted to learn the art, but they all gave up sooner or later. Why is that? I may be very forgiving, but the recipes aren't. Some steps require manual labor, and people don't expect the harsh conditions that come with a job. Many apply only because they know how successful I am, or how much I sell on a hot day, but they don't see all the work that goes on behind the scenes. I see the same influence of the cities corrupting the youth of today. They are lazy and seek infant instant gratification, wanting to make the recipes easier and cut corners. But I won't stand to compromise on quality. If there is no one willing to learn, appreciate, and preserve the art, it will tell me there is no desire for my ice cream in this world anymore. Let them have their cheap stuff if that's all they want. I'd rather take my recipes to the grave than let the big companies have them. I'm thinking here, if I were in this position, would I do the same? I'm kind of also thinking about Dr. Seuss, and books are a wholly separate de category than ice cream. I'm sure that's hard to believe, but I remember Dr. Seuss didn't want to sell out to bigger companies, and it was only until he died that his wife decided to go over his head and sell his property to big companies. And kind of look how that went. I mean, there's been some good results of that, but also some not so good results. Anyway, I have a grandson who may be my last hope. Unlike others, he was always interested not only in eating my ice cream, but also in learning what it took to make it. In a year or two, he will be old enough to become my apprentice if he so desires. I am not sure if his interest will still be present. Even if it is, I don't know if he will be able to brave the hardships that come with it. But I have hope. However, that is talk for the future. I have much more pressing problems right now. Like what? You see, this area used to be the popular spot for people to meet each other, but ever since Tatsu Park opened, it's not worth it to come to my corner anymore. The store is closer now. Maybe you shouldn't count on the people seeking you out. You should try coming to the people instead. That's what a cart is usually for, right? Have you tried moving it somewhere else? Moving? Well, that's what the wheels are for, right? But this has been my spot for the last 40 years. It's always worked out great for me. Considering it's not working out so great right now, maybe it's time for a change. The dragon raised a claw to his chin, his expression telling me that he was deep in thought. I guess I don't really have anything to lose at this point. What do you propose? Tatsu Park? I'm not sure how I let you convince me to come here when this is the place that stole all my customers from me. 
I don't think that's the right way to look at it. The world is ever-changing, and you can't stop that. You have to find ways to deal with it, or else you'll be left behind in the past. And besides, you can't compete with your competition if you're, you know, not competing with your competition. But yeah, changes. It's too easy to just blame the change and be done with it. You shouldn't really be so quick to give up, you know? But all my customers know that, that, that the other corner is my spot. How are they going to find me here? I think the people will buy some ice cream. Uh, th I think the people who will buy the, some ice cream will spread the word. You think so? It's summer. I'm sure there are tons of people around who'd like to buy an ice cream right now. Well, if you think you can sell ice cream better than me, then please go right ahead. What do you usually do? What do you mean? Well, what's your usual sales tactic? I don't need to do anything special. People always used to come to me. During my best times, they'd wait for my arrival in lines and I'd be sold out in minutes. And during your worst times, you turn away a police officer who wants some ice cream. I see. That may have worked before, but these times call for different measures, I think. Is this sound just going to keep repeating? Yep. We set up the cart at one of the busier corners. Once it was ready, we only needed to get the word out. Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream by the one and only Katsuharu, here in Tetsu Park. Get some while supplies last. It didn't take much to make the people in the vicinity take notice. The first customers arrived quickly. Of course, everyone recognized Katsuharu and loved his ice cream, but they also commended him on his new on this new location. Apparently, the call for ice cream has attracted somebody in the chat. Hello there, the dragon's wags. Welcome to my stream. Anyway, others, however, were attracted by me. The human that was generally under police protection openly selling ice cream gave people plenty of excuses to come over for a short chat. Soon, people were flocking to the cart as word got around of the human selling Katsuharu's legendary ice cream in Tatsu Park. Oh boy, imagine being human, but being seen as exotic despite being human. Like in the real world, being human does not at all feel like exotic, especially when we're basically the most common species in the world. What is our population right now? Six billion? Hello there, new dragon. I see you are a painter. Let's hide this so we can get a look at your tools there. You definitely seem some sort of artist anyway. Is your name actually gray, or are you just being referred to by your color? I'm gonna make note of you just in case. Who knows, we may see you again. Could, get a Could I get one of these, please? Of course! One ice cream for my favorite art student. Oh, art student. Uh, how did you know? I've seen you around. Besides, your accessories kind of give it away. Oh, okay. It's kind of neat seeing these dragons wearing these accessories. 
Lamus. Lamus, Lamus. Have we met Lamus before? Guess not. But that is, in fact, a name. I'm going to say Rap uh, Purple Raptor Construction Worker. I need some ice. My colleagues are dehydri dehydrated from working in the heat. How many cups would you like? Let's make it ten. All right, here you go. Ten cups plus one extra, just for you. Thank you. I'll make it count. Business was booming, but it wasn't until a certain person showed up that things were about to get serious. Is it Bryce? No, it's Emera. I hope this isn't about to be a struggle of getting permission to make sales here. Well, this is interesting. Minister. What do you think you're doing here? Well, what does it look like? It looks like you're selling ice cream. And since I personally know Katsuharu, I know that it's exquisite ice cream at that. Not a bad guess. I don't want to tell you what to do, but if the Trade Commissioner finds out about this, I won't hear the end of it. He'll probably be blathering about unfair competition and abuse of your status. I wouldn't mind his complaints, you know, but since I am in charge of your visit, it's all going to come back to me, and he's going to want an explanation. I just wanted to help Katsuharu, that's all. Okay, that's what you mean by unfair competition. Having the human help out. Help him? Is he in trouble? Alas, the human speaks the truth. Ever since the opening of Tatsu Park, my business has been plagued by drought and become forsaken like a desert. Well, it's not hard to see why when you kept staying at your old spot on the other side of town. It was Erica's idea to come here. And it was a good one. You don't look like you're having much trouble here at all, my friend. Yes, I will have to admit defeat on that front. But in hindsight, all successful ideas look like good ones. My friend, how come you never told me about any of this? I could have arranged something for you. I was sure you had more troubling issues yourself than taking care of a businessman who should be able to take care of himself. Well, I won't stand for this town's only ice cream vendor going out of business. With this new location, I don't think you'll have any more trouble, but in order to resolve this little situation here right now, I think I'll have to go with a different solution. You want to sell some ice cream, Erica? Then I'll just have to buy the rest of your inventory. Minister must be very hungry then. Or very hot. Maybe both. I'm sure the other employees in my building will, will appreciate a little something to combat the heat. Is air conditioning a thing in this world? Would you mind if I borrowed this cart for a while? Otherwise, I'm not sure how I would go about transporting it all safely. Not at all! Just let me know when I can retrieve it. Of course. Well, that was interesting. This could have hardly turned out better for me. I can already feel the excitement of my glory days returning to these old bones of mine. It sounded like you two need knew each other. Indeed. I have served her ice cream since the beginning of my career. Talk about a long-time customer. Just a thought, I was thinking you're old, but it occurs to me that you said you were doing this for 40 years, didn't you? Not that you're actually 40 years old. Uh, 
uh, anyway, longtime customer. And a good one, too. I know she not only has enjoyed my ice cream out of tradition of ne or necessity, but also due to an appreciation of the finer arts. She is a connoisseur like me. And she bought the whole inventory. Yes, but don't just see her as a big spender. She is a true patron of the arts. Do you like her? How dare you say something like that about her? She is a muse, an inspiration. Her lifestyle embodies the philosophy of my art. And you ask if I like her? Pa! I wanted to double check if that is what I asked. I see how it is. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you for your help. Again. There's no need for that. I'd offer you some more ice cream, but I'm afraid we're all out for the day. Actually, I didn't even have one earlier. What? Yeah, that customer you didn't want to serve interrupted us, and now Emera took the wrist with her. Oh, you're right. What a great shame. You sold all my stock, you didn't get a chance to indulge in the luxury yourself. It's no big deal. You know, you could come by next time we on, I'm in town again. Now that you have saved my business, I'd let you eat all the ice cream you want. Thanks. Well, maybe not all of it, or else I might go bankrupt again. Achievement unlocked. The Artisan. You met with Katsuharu and saved his business. Good job. Okay, that is that taken care of. Next thing on the to-do list is to hang out with Bryce, but uh, I imagine that will not be a short meeting. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my break right now. Be right back. <laughs> 